Monday, something happening big. It's the solar eclipse. It's a total for our area. Just uh, got off the phone with some uh, folks there at NASA. And the last, the last time we had a total solar eclipse in Washington, D.C. was the year 1478. So it's been a long time. This one a partial for us, but for nearly a century, you know, solar eclipses, they've helped scientists and researchers really decipher a lot of what's happening on the sun's surface, taking measurements that we wouldn't be able to take otherwise. But there's so much more that we can see as the moon blocks out the sun. So this is a unique opportunity to study this particular part of the sun's atmosphere, the corona, in visible light. And that tells us very specific things about the structure and the dynamics. And we want to understand that because that part of the sun is where solar activity comes from. And so it's very important that we truly understand this part. And it's a challenging part of the sun to measure. One of the things we learned is the moon is not smooth. The moon actually has mountains, and they're quite large mountains. And so we are seeing the light coming through those mountains. So part of the sun is blocked, but little bits of it are coming through the mountains. And that's the Bailey's beads. And so this was one of the first indications that the moon is not smooth. The moon has structure. And now we actually have satellites such as the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, or LRO, which has given us that incredible detail. And we use that to then improve our eclipse maps. And our partial, too. I mean, this is so cool. Hopefully, you're getting goosebumps, too, of what's coming our way for Monday.